Hey guys, welcome to Lorley's Plastic Kitchen. I'm Lorley, so come on in. kitchen and today in my kitchen I'm going to be making a yummy peach crisp or peach crumble because the peaches right now are in season and they're sweet and sometimes you can get them for a good price so come on in here's what you're gonna need I have two sets of ingredients these ingredients right here are gonna be for your peaches and these ingredients right here is gonna be for your crisp now for your peaches I have one third cup of brown sugar, three tablespoons of cornstarch. Now you can use flour or any uh, thickener, but I'm gonna use cornstarch for this recipe. One teaspoon of lemon juice. And for my crumble, I'm gonna be using two cups of oats, one and one fourth cups of flour, one half cup of brown sugar plus one tablespoon, one tablespoon of vanilla, one half cup plus two tablespoons of coconut oil, one teaspoon of baking powder plus one fourth tablespoon of salt. All right, now I have my peaches in here. I have six peaches because they're a big size. See how big they are? Look how juicy they look. Now I'm gonna start to cut my peach. And what you're gonna wanna do is you're gonna cut your peach in half. Now these peaches right here, I got a white peach. That's the only difference in the color, but it's your preference. Use what you like. Now I'm just gonna kinda slice it. Now you can use these pieces as being sliced just like this. But what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take it and kind of dice it because I like smaller chunks, but depending on you, you guys make it your own, what you like, what you wanna use. See, I'm gonna cut it like that, then I'm gonna dice it. Cause as it cooks in the oven, it's gonna get small and moist as well. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna continue cutting these peaches and I'll show you the end result. Now that I got my peaches all cut up, here's how they're gonna look. See, just like that. But like I said, it's your preference on what you wanna use. Now I'm gonna take my sugar, and that's packed brown sugar. And my cornstarch, and I'm gonna dump all of the ingredients in here. Once they're all dumped in here, I'm gonna incorporate them. The lemon juice. And now I'm gonna mix them so guys you guys like peaches are you sweet like peaches that way you like this recipe but you guys could it's easy you can make it with your kids although I know now that my kids are teenagers well my youngest one my oldest one works now so I try to get my other youngest teenager to be in the kitchen with me sometimes he's in the kitchen right now watching but <laughs> not helping but that's okay as long as he's watching and doing other stuff now that we got it all mixed up see the texture of it see how it looks like that when you cook it up, it's not going to be as juicy in the oven because it releases a lot of the juice, the peaches, especially if they're juicy. And your sweetness, depending on how sweet your peaches are, you're going to want to adjust the sugar. But I think this is sweet enough because these peaches are sweet. So now, in this bowl, I'm going to add my oats. Now guys, just make sure you have clean hands for this part, because guess what? I'm using my hands for this, because that's the best way you're gonna get in there. I added my flour, my brown sugar, 
my vanilla, my baking powder and salt, and my coconut oil. This is also a preference, the coconut oil. I've also used butter with this as well. Both of them are good, but I like using this. So use what you guys like. And then I'm gonna dump that coconut oil in. And I'm gonna take my hands and just kind of mix it with my hands. You could do it with the spoon, but sometimes it doesn't um, incorporate everything like you want it to. So I just get in here with my hands. In cooking, everything is your utensils. Well, you don't want to use dirty hands, so <laughs> just make sure your hands are clean and not out there changing diapers and then trying to cook in the, the kitchen. I'm just trying to make simple ways for anyone to get in the kitchen and want to be able to cook these recipes. All right, once it's all mixed up like that, see the texture on it? It's kind of like sticky, but crumbly. Now you really want to go. I gotta go wash my hands. Okay, now that your hands are clean again, I want you guys to look at this. Look at how much juice it already released just in that time of me washing my hands. See how juicy it's gonna be? And here's your crumble on the side. Now at this point, you're gonna wanna take a pan and place your peaches in the pan. I'm just gonna dump them in just like this. You can also add cinnamon to your batter if you want, but my youngest son, he didn't want cinnamon in here, so I'm just leaving it out. So now that you spread everything out, I'm gonna take my crumble, and you're just gonna wanna like put pieces on the top. Just like that. If you guys want to add nuts, you're more than welcome to add. At this point as well, the nuts will be a good flavor to it. But like I said, my youngest is sometimes picky with things. So I'm kind of making it to how he likes it. And make sure you just take that extra time of the day to do little things like this. You can make it ahead of the time or make it with your kids when they come home from school just to spend that little time with them and see how you're going to cover each end like that and you want to leave some of the pieces chunky or more crumbly depending on yourself. Give it a little press. And then I have a preheated oven at 375. I preheated it while I was mixing everything. You're gonna wanna do that. And I'm gonna put this in here for about 35 to 40 minutes, just depending on, you wanna make sure it gets crispy on top. Alrighty, now it's going in. Make sure you have muscles for this because it's gonna be a little heavy. bit so I'm gonna do that and once it comes out I'm gonna show you guys alrighty now that it came out of the oven it's been about 40 minutes if you want it darker than that you can leave it in there longer but this is good for us see how when you put the cornstarch on look at how thick and nice and luscious that is all right now, Gordy, I'm gonna put a little whip topping for you. Just cause you're extra special. <laughs> yeah, right. <laughs> wow. You just came out of, fresh out that oven. Good? Mm-hmm. One of your favorites, Gordy? Yeah, it's just the amount of sweet we need. You guys, he's not gonna stop eating, I don't think. So, 
Thank you for coming to my channel. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe to Lorley's Classic Kitchen for more of these recipes. Have a beautiful, blessed day, and see you soon. Bye.